Dive into the ultimate Bible quiz challenge. Join us for an exciting quiz that will put your biblical knowledge to the test. Get ready for a fun and educational journey through the scriptures. Don't forget to subscribe for more. Question 1. Who was given a coat of many colors by his father? The answer is, Joseph, now Israel loved Joseph more than all his children, because he was the son of his old age, and he made him a coat of many colors. Genesis 37 verse 3. Question 2. When Jesus first appeared to the disciples after rising from the dead, how did he greet them? The answer is, peace be with you, then the same day at evening, being the first day of the week, when the doors were shut where the disciples were assembled for fear of the Jews, came Jesus and stood in the midst, and saith unto them, Peace be unto you. John 20 verse 19. Question 3. What was the name of the place where Abram lived for a while after leaving Haran and before moving to the land of Canaan? The answer is, near of Bethel. And he removed from thence unto a mountain on the east of Bethel, and pitched his tent, having Bethel on the west, and high on the east, and there he builded an altar unto the Lord, and called upon the name of the Lord. Genesis 12 verse 8. Question 4. What was David's profession when he was anointed by Samuel? The answer is, Shepherd, and Samuel said unto Jesse, Are here all thy children? And he said, There remaineth yet the youngest, and, behold, he keepeth the sheep. And Samuel said unto Jesse, Send and fetch him, for we will not sit down till he come hither. 1 Samuel 16 verse 11. Question 5. Who prayed and the Lord added fifteen years to his life? The answer is, Hezekiah, go, and say to Hezekiah, Thus saith the Lord, the God of David thy father, I have heard thy prayer, I have seen thy tears, behold, I will add unto thy days fifteen years. Isaiah 38 verse 5. Question 6. What was the last plague that convinced Pharaoh to let the Israelites go? The answer is, death of the firstborn, and it came to pass, that at midnight the Lord smote all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, from the firstborn of Pharaoh that sat on his throne unto the firstborn of the captive that was in the dungeon, and all the firstborn of cattle. Exodus 12 verse 29. Question 7. What was King David's response upon hearing of the unrighteous killing of Abner by Job and his men? The answer is, he cursed Job and his lineage, let it rest on the head of Job, and on all his father's house, and let there not fail from the house of Job one that hath an issue, or that is a leper, or that leaneth on a staff, or that falleth on the sword, or that lacketh bread. 2 Samuel 3 verse 29. Question 8. How did Jesus respond when asked about paying taxes to Caesar?
The answer is render therefore unto Caesar the things which are Caesar's, they say unto him, Caesar's. Then saith he unto them, Render therefore unto Caesar the things which are Caesar's, and unto God the things that are God's. Matthew 22 verse 21. Question 9. What sign did God set in the sky as a covenant that he would never again flood the earth? The answer is, a rainbow. And God said, This is the token of the covenant, which I make between me and you and every living creature that is with you. For perpetual generations, I do set my bow in the cloud, and it shall be for a token of a covenant between me and the earth. Genesis 9 verses 12 to 13. Question 10. Who was the first woman created from a rib? The answer is Eve, and the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam, and he slept, and he took one of his ribs, and closed up the flesh instead thereof, and the rib, which the Lord God had taken from man, made he a woman, and brought her unto the man. Genesis 2 verses 21 to 22. Question 11. What did the crowd shout as Jesus passed by on a donkey? The answer is, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, and the multitudes that went before, and that followed, cried, saying, Hosanna to the son of David, blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Matthew 21 verse 9. Question 12. Why was Jonah swallowed by a big fish? The answer is as a punishment for trying to flee from God's command to go to Nineveh. Now the word of the Lord came unto Jonah the son of Amittai, saying, Arise, go to Nineveh, that great city, and cry against it, for their wickedness is come up before me. But Jonah rose up to flee unto Tarshish from the presence of the Lord, and went down to Joppa, and he found a ship going to Tarshish, so he paid the fare thereof, and went down into it, to go with them unto Tarshish from the presence of the Lord. Jonah 1 verses 1 to 3. Question 13. What did Azar have a hand in that caused his death? The answer is, touching the ark, and when they came to Nachan's threshing floor, Azar put forth his hand to the ark of God, and took hold of it, for the oxen shook it, and the anger of the Lord was kindled against Uzzah, and God smote him there for his error, and there he died by the ark of God. 2 Samuel 6 verses 6 to 7. Question 14. Who was the high priest during Jesus' trial? The answer is, Caiaphas, and they that had laid hold on Jesus led him away to Caiaphas the high priest, where the scribes and the elders were assembled. Matthew 26 verse 57. Question 15. Who plotted John the Baptist's beheading? The answer is Herodias, for Herod himself had sent forth and laid hold upon John, and bound him in prison for Herodias' sake, his brother Philip's wife, for he had married her. For John had said unto Herod, It is not lawful for thee to have thy brother's wife. Therefore Herodias had a quarrel against him, and would have killed him, but she could not, for Herod feared John, knowing that he was a just man and unholy, and observed him, and when he heard him, he did many things, and heard him gladly. Mark 6 verses 17 to 20. 
Question 16. What action did Moses take following the battle with the Amalekites? The answer is built an altar, and Moses built an altar, and called the name of it Jehovah Nissi, for he said, because the Lord hath sworn that the Lord will have war with Amalek from generation to generation. Exodus 17 verses 15 to 16. Question 17. Who was Rachel's maid servant? The answer is Billah, and she said, Behold my maid Billah, go in unto her, and she shall bear upon my knees, that I may also have children by her. And she gave him Billah her handmaid to wife, and Jacob went in unto her. And Billah conceived, and bare Jacob a son. And Rachel said, God hath judged me, and hath also heard my voice, and hath given me a son, therefore called she his name Dan. And Billah Rachel's maid conceived again, and bare Jacob a second son. And Rachel said, With great wrestlings have I wrestled with my sister, and I have prevailed, and she called his name Naphtali. Genesis 30 verses 3 to 8. Question 18. What was David's profession before he became king? The answer is shepherd, and David said unto Saul, Thy servant kept his father's sheep, and there came a lion, and a bear, and took a lamb out of the flock, 1 Samuel 17 verse 34. Question 19. What could Jesus do if he prayed to his father? The answer is, call twelve legions of angels, thinkest thou that I cannot now pray to my father, and he shall presently give me more than twelve legions of angels? Matthew 26 verse 53. Question 20. Which brother served as Moses' spokesman during the journey to free the Israelites? The answer is Aaron, and the anger of the Lord was kindled against Moses, and he said, Is not Aaron the Levite thy brother? I know that he can speak well. And also, behold, he cometh forth to meet thee, and when he seeth thee, he will be glad in his heart. And thou shalt speak unto him, and put words in his mouth, and I will be with thy mouth, and with his mouth, and will teach you what ye shall do. And he shall be thy spokesman unto the people, and he shall be, even he shall be to thee instead of a mouth, and thou shalt be to him instead of God. Exodus for verses 14 to 16. Question 21. Kindly let us know how many questions you got right in the comment section below. And also, we respectfully request that you support us by subscribing to our channel and hitting the like button. Your assistance enables us to share the gospel further. See you guys in our next video. Thank you.